In this video, I'll describe the courses included in every Tech Academy Bootcamp. By course, I mean a self-paced class that consists of a series of steps that are completed one after the other. Each course covers a particular set of skills. It's important that you watch this video in full so that you understand what each course covers and know what you're getting into. So please, bear with me for the next 15 minutes or so. Now don't worry if you don't understand all the various names I'll go over in this video. You will learn them thoroughly on your bootcamp after you enroll. It's not important for you to master these terms now. As a reminder, each bootcamp is made up of several individual courses that are completed in sequence. Tech Academy courses are completed in order because later courses assume you have finished the preceding courses and may even refer back to content covered on earlier courses. We offer dozens of courses, but as I mentioned earlier, the ones I'm going to cover now are included in every Tech Academy bootcamp. The reason for this is because they contain data that is vital for every technology professional to know, regardless of industry. I'm now going to walk you through each course, tell you what's on it, and give you an idea as to how long it takes. These estimates are based on 8 hours of study per day. The first course on every Tech Academy Bootcamp is our Computer and Technology Basics course. It takes about a week of study to complete. This course is one of the primary differences between us and other coding bootcamps. We start with the fundamentals of computers and technology. The Computer and Technology Basics course removes the mysteries associated with how computers work and explains all common technology concepts. As a developer, or frankly a professional in any industry, it helps immensely to know what is happening inside of a computer as it operates. You will learn what the main parts of a computer are, and not only what each one of them does, but how they do it. You could liken this course to lifting up the hood of a car and getting walked through what each component does and how it works exactly. There are hundreds of simple definitions and articles written by us that provide you with the necessary vocabulary to operate in the technology sector. In addition to the written content, there are well over 50 videos on this course that we made to give you a firm grounding in tech and computers. Here are some of the topics covered. The operation of the internet and World Wide Web. How computers work. Binary, which are the ones and zeros that computers use to operate. Basic security concepts. Algorithms, which are what computers use to solve problems. And much more. I want to emphasize that this is the only course of its kind on Earth. If you attempt to clear up basic computer and technology terms and concepts on your own, you'll quickly find that the existing material out there is too difficult. For one thing, it's full of undefined and complex words. But again, we have simplified the data so that the average person can understand it. Some other coding boot camps throw you right into coding, or even require you to pass a coding exam before being accepted. So if you enroll with them, unless you already have a firm understanding of computers and programming, you won't graduate really understanding what is going on inside the computer. This course is vital for anyone learning coding or any technical subject. With a solid understanding of the fundamentals of technology, you're laying in the foundation for all future study. Without this foundation, your study can be confusing and slow. With this foundation, you'll be well prepared to learn the fundamentals of computer programming, as covered on the next course. The next and second course on every Tech Academy Bootcamp is the Overview of Software Development course. Like the Computer and Technology Basics course, it takes about a week to knock out. Whether or not you intend to work as a software developer, understanding the basics of computer programming is vital. We're surrounded by machines that contain computers, from cars to planes to elevators. Virtually all major machines nowadays are controlled by computers. By understanding how these computers were programmed to perform various actions, your ability to operate them and use them beneficially increases greatly. You will learn the fundamentals of computer programming that apply to all programming languages on this course. This includes basic programming terms and explanations for all fundamental programming concepts. On this course, you'll put this knowledge to use by writing basic code for the first time on your program. We also cover what to expect in the tech industry when you're on the job, subjects like the day-to-day -day activities of software developers, and even how to think like a computer programmer. That brings us to the third and next course included on every Tech Academy Bootcamp, the Version Control course. It only takes a couple of days. Version control is the tools and processes that are used to manage multiple versions of computer files as they change over time. No matter what role you find yourself in in the future, if you're working near or in tech, you must understand version control. This is the technology used to coordinate with a team of people to ensure no one damages or overwrites other people's work. It is a key part of professional software development. When you have multiple people working on the same computer program, it's important to keep track of who did what and when, and it's also important to be able to reverse changes that were made if they contain mistakes or become unnecessary. The most popular tools used for version control are Git and GitHub. Git is a version control program that's used to manage the versions of your computer programs and work on software in conjunction with other developers. GitHub is the most popular version control website 
and application. It's owned by Microsoft and it's used to store code, track issues, manage tasks, and for version control. One of the primary benefits of GitHub is that you can use it as a portfolio for your various coding projects. This helps a lot in the job search later on because people can go to your GitHub account and look over your code. After completing the version control course, you'll move on to the fourth course on every bootcamp, the HTML and CSS course. This course can take a couple of weeks. HTML stands for Hypertext Markup Language. It is the computer language used to create web pages. HTML lets you create the content on the page, like text, images, and videos. CSS stands for Cascading Style Sheets. It's a technology that can control the styling for the web pages on a website. In other words, it helps you modify the appearance and format of the content on the web page rather than creating the content itself. You could look at it this way. HTML is the framework of the house, the walls, floors, ceilings, etc. Whereas CSS is a design, like paint color, flooring, and countertops. If you're a developer, it's assumed you know HTML and CSS. For example, many online tutorials for other languages use HTML and CSS without teaching what they are because most people presume you already know them. Additionally, most applications nowadays interact with the internet, and so a knowledge of web languages is required. The best part of this course is that you'll create an HTML and CSS website that you will publish on the internet, meaning it will be live online and able to be viewed by others. Most students choose to make a portfolio website where they can showcase their skills and projects. After obtaining a foundation in web development on our HTML and CSS course, the next course you'll do is the JavaScript course. This is the fifth course on all of our boot camps, and it takes around a couple of weeks. JavaScript is a very popular programming language, and can be used to make websites interactive. It can also be used to create computer programs. JavaScript is one of the most versatile and popular languages, and it is a key technology to learn. JavaScript is an object-oriented programming language. First off, an object is an item that can be represented in a computer program. In the world around you, you're surrounded by objects, your dog, the TV, etc., and the meaning is the same here. Object-oriented is an approach to programming that focuses on objects and data, as opposed to consecutive actions or functions. You'll learn more about this on your bootcamp, but simply put, it is the most popular approach to computer programming, and it makes it easier to create programs that reflect the way things are organized in the real world. You'll learn the fundamentals of object-oriented programming on the JavaScript course. Additionally, you'll take the website you made on the HTML and CSS course and improve it using JavaScript. A library is simply code written by others that you can use. Libraries speed up the process of programming by allowing you to use various items and functions already created by others. For example, you could use code from a library to cause an image on a website to fade in and fade out. Two of the most popular JavaScript libraries are jQuery and React. jQuery is a free library and arguably the most popular JavaScript library in use. React is a library developed by Facebook, and it's also heavily used. You receive a basic introduction to jQuery and React on the JavaScript course. That brings us to the next course included on every bootcamp but one, the Database and SQL course. This course takes a few days to complete. Databases are organized collections of related electronic data. SQL stands for Structured Query Language. It's pronounced SQL. SQL is the primary language used to monitor and operate databases. Databases are a vital part of computer programming because they allow for permanent, well-organized storage of data so it can be used later. You will learn how to design and create databases on this course, as well as how to use SQL to get the data you need into and out of databases. C Sharp is a very popular programming language that was developed by Microsoft. For students on a bootcamp that includes C Sharp, the next course is the Visual Studio course. It only takes about a day to finish. Visual Studio is an Integrated Development Environment, or IDE. That sounds complicated, but it's not. An IDE is just a computer program that helps you create computer programs. It combines several programming tools in one place so that you can operate more efficiently. Visual Studio is the most used IDE on Earth. On this course, you will learn how to navigate and use Visual Studio, which comes in handy later on your program. One of the last courses on all of our boot camps is the Project Management course. It takes about a day to complete. Project management is a vital part of modern software development. Creating software is a team activity, and it involves many different sections and personnel of an organization. Without an effective approach to the process, the creation and deployment of computer programs can become disorganized and expensive. On this course, you'll get an overview of the various popular approaches to project management in the technology industry. Agile is the most popular project management methodology in use in the tech industry. The most popular branch or implementation of Agile is Scrum. Agile and Scrum focus on teamwork, 
tight collaboration, flexibility in task completion order, and regular meetings to ensure that software projects deliver valuable functionality as quickly as possible. Like other skills in your bootcamp, an understanding of basic project management is knowledge that junior developers are expected to have. This is yet another example of topics not covered by most other coding bootcamps. Sure, you'll learn a coding language or two at other schools, but considering that less than half your time on the job will actually be spent coding, it would be a disservice to fail to teach you how to operate within the group day to day. Following the project management course, you will partake in a two week live project. Live projects are included on all of our bootcamps. From day one, we felt it was vital to provide our students with real world coding experience that they could add to their resume. That is what the live project is. Consider it a two week internship where you put the skills gained on your bootcamp to use. This is one of the most effective elements of our bootcamp program. You'll be challenged to work as part of a team and to figure out new things we haven't taught you. Now that's very important because we want to prepare you as much as possible for the actual experience of working on a dev team. We try to replicate what it's like to be on an actual job as much as possible. For most people, this is where all the tools they've learned come together. They gain the confidence that they can, in fact, do the job. Live projects provide you with valuable experience in different areas, all of which will assist you in your job search. The final course on every Tech Academy Bootcamp is the Job Placement course. It only takes a couple of days to complete, but it covers data we've gathered over the years from placing hundreds of graduates in the tech industry. The skills and techniques needed to get hired in technology are not necessarily in the skill set of our applicants. We, of course, want you to succeed in getting hired, so we created the Job Placement course. Even if you aren't looking to land a job, the data on this course is useful. On the Job Placement course, you will learn where to find tech jobs, how to do a phone interview, how to interview in person, how to answer common job interview questions, how to approach coding challenges, how to write your resume. In fact, one of our instructors or job placement staff will review your resume. We are the only coding bootcamp with such a course. While some of the schools do assist in the job search, like we do with our job placement staff, they don't provide a class you can take that sets you up not only to land your first job, but to obtain that next job and future employment. And that is our list of our main courses. No matter what bootcamp you enroll in, you'll learn several in-demand programming languages and all the required skills of an entry-level technology worker. Due to the fact that our bootcamps do cover several languages, you may have some questions, such as, why so many programming languages? Shouldn't I just focus on one? And how can I learn that much data in such a short period of time? Well, focusing on only one language would be unfair to you for a couple of reasons. You would have a difficult time learning new programming languages in the future. Though it may sound overly simple, the more languages you learn, the easier it is to pick up more. This is why you're able to cover so many skills in this bootcamp. As you go through the courses, your ability to learn new technology speeds up. Also, you know how often technology changes. If you only learn one language or tool, it may be obsolete in the near future. By the end of your bootcamp, you'll find yourself skilled in picking up new technology. You'll have an excellent ability to self-teach new languages and skills. Also, because our courses build on each other and are connected, we're able to relay a tremendous amount of data in a relatively short amount of time. With all that said, it would be impossible to cover everything regarding each language. For an example, there are thousands of pages of documentation on the JavaScript programming language. It would take years of full-time study to master JavaScript, and by then, a newer version would have come out. We are limited on time with how much we can cover. The point is, we cover the basics of each language, enough to where you can perform the most routine tasks, and to the point you'll be able to pick up any additional needed skills on your own. Yes, the purpose of this bootcamp is to provide you with an immense amount of skills, but even more important than that, we want you to be able to learn and to solve problems on your own. After all, we won't be there with you at your job. And so the purpose of our bootcamps is to prepare you for junior level positions and a successful career. We want you to be able to stay abreast of changes in technology and further educate yourself as needed. Thank you for watching this video, and I hope you enjoy learning more about what the Tech Academy has to offer. Good luck.